Okay, the first thing that you have to do when you are adding XML codes to your Movie Maker is you have to make a special uh, folder to put them in. So we're going to go over here to the Start button and you can click on any of these. I'll just take pictures for now. Go over here to Computer, C, press the little triangle. You want Program Files by 86. You want to scroll all the way down until you get to your Movie Maker. It's right here. Press the triangle to open it, and there's a shared folder. Now, I already have an add-on TFX folder here, but what you're going to do is just right-click on the shared folder, and you're going to go down to New, and just hover, and then come over here and click on Folder. And the new folder will come in there, and you're just going to type it in. Capital A, D, D, no spaces, capital O, then N, and then capital T, F, X. Okay, press Enter. Now you have shared under Movie Maker in the shared folder. You're going to have an add-on TFX folder, and you're going to put all of your copied XML files in that. You can close this up. Let's go back to Papa John's page that I sent you the link for. Scroll down to his XML. And what you're going to do is right on the outside of this first little carrot, you're going to click and hold, and you're going to drag down and highlight all of this. Okay, release the mouse button. Go up in the blue area right click copy now go back to start all programs scroll down to accessories click it to open it and you see notepad click on notepad to open it then right click paste and there's your transitions and effects now we have to save this, and I'm going to minimize this for a moment because I was looking in here. You had to look for a name. Chroma non-red, chroma blue, chroma white. Normally you have to have a name for this because you have to name your file. Um, I'll just call it chroma key for now because I cannot find a name for it. They all have separate names. Okay, go back up to Notepad, File, Save As, and see these are text files. You don't have to change anything. What you're going to type in the file name is, oops, spell it right, Chroma Key, period, and then XML. That's where you put the XML in. And this is saving. I always save them to my desktop. You can't save them directly to your folder. Okay. And close it. And then minimize this. And here it is right here. Here's your XML file. Now for Vista and for Windows 7, like I said, you can't save it directly into the add-on TFX folder. So you're going to right-click copy it and you're going to go back open computer open program files by 86 scroll down to movie maker open the shared file right click on your add on tfx file and click paste no i can't do that because my movie maker is vista and that's an xml file for an x P Movie Maker add-on. Okay, and then once you paste it, you'll have that in there. Then the next time you open Movie Maker, you should be able to see those in your Movie Maker program.